That's was, what these guys are doing. Clash up on a Saturday night. Nin -nin -nin. <laughs> now I need to kill these guys, wherever they may be. Are they I had a cold, but he was feeling really bold. He reached into uh, a place that he shouldn't have been. Oh. What? I found a bunch of stuff above <laughs> me. Wow. <laughs> I'm singing rude songs right now. Are they in water? I think they are. Ew. What? There's a slime up here. Oh, you found a slime? Yeah. Nice. He's like Freaking oozing. nose! Why are you keep running? He's Ugh. oozing green poop on me. Good. What a guy. Let him. Let him do it. It's not good. Oh no! Water! No! Go away, water! Ew. That's the green poop. That's nasty. I'm just kidding. My snot is not green. That's disgusting. That's some next level snot. <laughs> it's next level. Complain on the blizzard forms. Yep. I'd like to open uh, a thread, a formal complaint, because my snot is green. Chimney uh, got sick. Blizzard forums. Yeah, exactly. Chimney Swift got sick. Complain on the Blizzard forums. All day. That's day. actually kind of hilarious. Yep. I don't <laughs> care about my legs <laughs> in Minecraft, so I just jumped off the edge. Chimney hit a tree in Minecraft. Complain on the Blizzard forums. Did forms. you say Minecraft? Pretty sure I said Minecraft. I thought you said Minecraft. Sounded like you said Minecraft. Don't say I it ever did. again. No. Well, I'm tired, man. <laughs> yep. I was asleep last night. Oh I my gosh, there's eggs all over this abandoned mine, bro. I'm like... Going down this abandoned mine, just collecting eggs. There's oh, this look at the culprit. He came out. He's like, they found me. They found me. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. It's egg City over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Alrighty. Locked out the water. Wow. Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> they just keep on. The, the water just keeps on pouring down here. Oh, well, we haven't gone down here yet. We haven't gone down here yet. Maybe this is where all the diamonds are. Yeah, yeah where are the gold at? <laughs> Show me all the gold. Oh crap. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh. Holy crap. That was Did bad. You... Yeah, I lived. And now I have yeah. a regenerating apple, so. Mm -hmm. I'm blah, blah, blah. I really need to bring all this iron back, though, to base, because if we lose this iron, then we're in trouble. <laughs> I guess stop blowing up there. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm a professional. I, well, play, I play Vex Super Hostile Maps. Which, by too. the way, we should talk about that, because I know you're playing one, right? Yep. Bro. Freaking beat it. fun? Yes? Yeah. It really is fun. Um, I beat it in, like, 15 episodes. It was, like, the easiest one, Sunburn Islands, but... It was oh, yeah. still pretty fun. Like, I liked it because it gave me a, a real objective for Minecraft, and that, that was something that like, I felt was, like, missing. I mean, dude, like, there are custom maps and stuff, but, like, Super Hostile is a different game altogether. Dude, it is so much fun. Like, Super Spellbound Caves, or, well, I call it Super Spellbound Caves. It's actually Spellbound Caves, but I call it Super because I add the mods. Right. But, dude, uh, freaking amazingly fun. Yeah, definitely. Like, to the point where I get addicted to playing it. Like, I, I, I want to record multiple episodes. Yep. Yep. Oh gosh. There's a lot of stuff down here, man. Wish I had a bow. Oh man, hold on. Oh, he's hunting me down. He's hunting me down. Alright, he's dead. Enderman. Shine the light on you, Enderman. Yeah, chances are I'm actually going to start a, uh, a new super hostel coming up. I think I'm going to do Infernal Sky. And uh, I'm looking forward to that one. Because it's supposed to be like the next uh, difficulty up. Mm-hmm. Like, it'll still be a challenge for somebody like me who's not, you know, an experienced super hostile player, but right. it's not going to be uh, stupidly difficult. It's not going to be, like, um, waking up. Me and uh, Double tried waking up, and was man, was that... Possible? It was... There were silverfish coming out of uh, the stone walls when we were trying to dig uh, are you into serious? the area. Yeah, and then we, cl we tried to scale two giant trees to collect wood, and when we got to the top, both trees blew up, so we lost our stuff twice. Are you serious? And it was just a bad day. Yeah, it was just like we wanted to do it, and you know it was because so many people requested for us to do it. But it just got to the point where it was like it was just cheeky. Okay. It was just like bad. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, because like there's a degree of difficulty where I'm just not even having fun anymore. You know? Yeah, like, and then there's like a level of cheapness too, where you're just like, um, yeah. this is completely rid ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Well, there's I no way I can be expected to actually you know do this without either cheating or uh, it, and if I did do it the legitimate way, like it would just take so much time because you would have to spend so much time inching your way forward. You couldn't just run in and do stuff, yeah. you know? Bro, you got to go to uh, Vex's channel, though, and look at his like his commentary on, like, he was doing some tests on something. Yeah. Dude, because he, he's been talking, I guess, with Dinnerbone, the new developer for Minecraft, with Jeb. Uh, yeah. He was, like, the guy, Dinnerbone's the guy that, like, developed the whole new, like, uh, creative uh, creative mode inventory. Mm -hmm. And um, they've been like talking, 
yeah. apparently about stuff. And uh, there was like one thing that Vex like requested, and he like put it in the game for him. And I was like, oh my gosh! All the comments it's were like, great, Vex is working with Mojang now. I mean, not like, not he's not like officially working with them, but he's been like talking with them. Yeah, you know? yeah. And so uh, basically, he's just gonna add stuff into the game. It's like, oh, well, let's see how much more miserable we can make people's lives while yes. playing a super hostile map. Yes, exactly. And I'm just like, this is insane. But some of the stuff he was coming up with, bro, was like unbelievable. Like, it's really cool, cool ideas. This, cool this is ideas, the next but... level. I mean, like, not too many developers do that sort of thing. And yeah. In fact, none at all, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, and they don't cater to, like, custom maps either. These guys have, like, catered to custom maps and everything. It's been kind of cool, actually. Yeah, because they acknowledge just how important that is. They're not stubborn about it. They're like, oh, that's not originally part no, of the game. No, because the creativity in, of the custom map is, like, what keeps the game going. Like, exactly. why do you think we're playing this right now? It's because somebody Definitely. made this. Like, yep. you know, they've taken the game engine and created their own game within that game it's like awesome it's so cool that's what i love about minecraft exactly it's the reason the game persists even you know after it's been released like what a year ago mm -hmm. like officially released and the game has been out for like the longest time in beta and alpha and whatnot oh, it's, been it's the reason butt. why it just keeps on gaining popularity and it doesn't yep. slow down uh, yep but anyways yeah like, uh vex is like makes super cool stuff and I've absolutely loved Spellbound Caves. It's been like an amazing map. Yeah, dude. Uh, Sunburn Islands was the like the most fun that I've had in, with Minecraft. Period. Really? Single player. Yeah, because it's like it's always more fun in general to play with people. Mm -hmm. But still, playing uh, Super Hostile Sunburn Islands, like it was just the most fun I've had going solo. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That, that's like what. I, that's like almost how I feel about Spellbound Caves too. It's like literally, I, I have more fun doing that solo, I think, than anything I've ever done before because it's just like the challenge is so great and like you're just at risk like always at risk but it, but it's like oh gosh it's good you're it's like it's a good risk it's like yeah, a, it's not overwhelming yeah Did i messed this up oh i messed this up i was mining like gold with a <gasps> I found a slime stone pickaxe my slime. bad somebody's gonna it. yell at me for that found a slime yeah i killed it though good i don't like slimes anyway me and Seamus played a uh, map called the waffle course and it was slime city was it really because it was yeah it was a it was a super flat so oh gosh and it was in 1.2.5 so it was really just slimes all over the place like that was the whole map <laughs> we're trying to parkour and the, the map was just confusing and overall it just wasn't uh my pick it could have been better yeah well that's disappointing yeah yeah sometimes you play a good map well most of the time you know we get to play good maps but sometimes you just get a bad egg yeah well yeah or most one of these maps are good this one, yeah. I like this one, but this some of the survival tasks that we've been doing here are going to take forever. Yeah, well, I just wish it was like a more obvious, like, oh, go through this dungeon so that you can get to where the diamonds are or whatever. Like, if right. there's going to be objectives, make it, like, kind of clear-cut. Not like, oh, let's just explore this giant rock here for yeah. hours on end before we find what we're looking for. I know, because now my viewers are just, like, watching me dig, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, that's what I've been doing this whole time. And I mean, it, it's kind of cool because it increases the longevity for people who want to see more of it and want to mm -hmm. see us talk about random stuff. But yeah. at the same time, like, we have to get something done besides digging around the whole time. Bro, I hear you. You're down here near right. me. Yeah, I see you. You're, like, right beneath me. Mm -hmm. Have you found any diamond whatsoever? No. Oh, my God. I haven't found any. Have I'm you? make my way towards you? No, I haven't found any. I found a bunch of iron. We have enough iron for uh, an iron golem now. Yeah, we should. I think we should be all right. <clears throat> but you found a ton, you said. Yeah, I found a crap ton of iron. Good, nice. Oh! <laughs> a wild clashy poo appeared. <laughs> be careful. There's a lot of like abandoned mines and stuff down there. Oh, there are. Yeah, I've been fighting stuff like this whole time down there. Oh, nice. That's more exciting than what I've been doing. I've just been blowing creepers up. <laughs> That's kind of what I've been doing, blowing stuff up, but I've also been, like, fighting skeletons and zombies the whole time. Yeah. Hey, well, look, you found the edge of the map. Well, dude, half the fun with this, um, at least Spellbound Caves, is just, like, the, um, not, like, the lore, but, like, the, just, like, the cool names and stuff that he puts into it. Like, the, it kind of gives, like, a right. backstory to it, almost. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, each dungeon has its own name and whatnot. Some, yeah. of, it are, some of it's a uh, reference, like... There was uh, Naruto references in the map I played and uh, Lonely Island references and stuff like that, you know? Uh -huh. And that kind of adds to the overall experience. Oh, yeah. And really, I, like, I just cool. love it, and like, I can't say this enough. That the fact that it gives you like, the subjective to do, it really gives you some kind of direction, some kind of endpoint. You know? And that you can break any box and do anything. 
Oh yeah, uh, like that's the the best part, and it doesn't ruin the map when you break stuff. It adds to it. Yep. It's how you beat the map. It's how you do it. Yeah, exactly. Some some people have been completely ignorant about the whole thing and been like, "Why are you breaking the map? You're you're that's not the rules." It's and like, yeah, like, it is. I can do <laughs> this. Like last episode of Spellbound Caves, I like I went through. Dang, there's bedrock. Dang. Uh, I went through and I was like, um, like just fighting these blades through this wall. Like I was totally chickening out. Like. You know, whatever, and I'm like at the end of it, I'm like, you know what? This is how I beat it. So that's how I beat it. Like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, it's it's one way to beat the map. Mm-hmm. All right, you got I found some coal, lapis. Plenty of iron. Yeah, I found some lapis too. I didn't mine it though. Oh. I'm about to make some iron tools here. 